All right, this is uh, Android Cabo here. I'm uh, shooting this through glass. I want to show you guys how to uh, get back to uh, stock Kindle Fire. I've already uh, posted uh, directions to this, but I want to make uh, make a cool uh, quick video for this. So you do need to be rooted for this. So uh, first, if you're not rooted, go ahead and root it uh, using the, I have the link uh, for that as well. And you can check out the video uh, there as well. It's a pretty easy process. So once you're rooted, if you're rooted, then your drivers should have been installed correctly. But what you want to make sure um, that you're, what you want to make sure that you're doing is that here, if you go to under more, under security, um, you want to make sure that um, you've set enable ADB here uh, down there. Okay, make sure that's on. Okay, and then you want to connect it. As you can see, I have it connected um, to my uh, computer. And then here, uh, I'm going to come in here. So hopefully, you guys can can sort of see this um, so you want to make sure here that you have under Kindle Fire Android composite ADB interface so that's there that means your drivers are installed properly um, and then what you want to do is that um, in the link I have the files you're gonna need ADB and fastboot um, and I have the links uh, when you go to the post there's three different files you need to download so uh, once you have ADB and fastboot set up you want to go into your uh, go in, go into your file folder and find where that where you wherever you installed it. You need to find that. I actually have it under the Android SDK tool, so don't worry about that. Yours is probably going to be called ADB and Fastboot. But if you hold down Shift, so what you want to do is hold down Shift and right click. And here you'll see um, it'll say Open Command Window here. That's what you want to do. And what you're going to get is the the a command prompt here okay and that's where you want to go so if you want to make sure everything is set up right uh, type ADB devices okay and uh, you may get that um, daemon started okay and once you get that you're gonna get a bunch of serial numbers if you get a bunch of serial numbers device that means you're set up correctly if you don't get a serial number on device that means your ADB is not set up right okay so you may need to install the drivers or enable ADB Okay, so that's important. If you have that set up, um, then you're then you're uh, good to go. Okay, and then uh, to get into f then what we need to do is get into fast boot mode. And uh, the way you want to get into fast boot mode is uh, you're actually going to type uh, the following commands here, which is going to be uh, I'm going to quickly just copy that over uh, from here. Let's see. Okay, I have this also, uh, the commands is also on the post here. So you're going to type uh, this here. So I can just copy it if you write on command prompt, you right click and paste. So that's adb shell su space dash c uh, quotes reboot bootloader. If you do that, that's going to take you into fast boot mode. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. So now we're in fast boot mode and you can see my Kindle rebooted here. Okay, and you can see that that it's um that it's showing you it says fast boot right there so i will turn it the right way okay so you can see fast boot so that's fast boot mode okay and that's where you want to get into if you're there then then you're good okay and you want to leave that plugged in okay but one issue now is that uh usually when you get the fast boot mode the the drivers are not installed right so go go into your start menu and find the device manager if you just type in it'll come up and as you can see, uh, we have this uh, yellow triangle here. Um, that's for the device. It's not set up right. So what you want to do is right click it and do update driver software and then do um, browse my computer for, nope, actually no one want to do that. You want to say search automatically for updated driver. Uh, no, actually, you want to browse your computer and then, sorry, you want to browse your computer and then say, let pick from a list of devices that's already on my computer. And once you do that, you want to go ahead and find your Kindle Fire. This was previously installed. And then here's Android Composite ADB. So go ahead and say next. And you're going to say yes. Okay, so that's going to install it. And now it'll no longer, so now it's showing up correctly. Um, so now you're going to be... Uh, fine now now the drivers are installed okay for for fast boot mode okay and i think you're going to need to reboot um uh, reboot it now we can try it fast boot should not be working yet so we'll try typing in a fast boot command 
and see what we get. If we do fast boot, um, this command here, reboot, and okay, so fast boot is working. So you can see my Kindle just rebooted. Okay, so there you go, just rebooted. So so once we updated the driver, then um, the fast boot is working, which is what you want. So so now what you want to do is get back into. You're gonna to want to get back um, into the fast boot mode again once your Kindle uh, boots and is uh, recognized. So we're gonna wait. Um, wait a second till that uh, boots up here. Okay. All right. Um, so let's try that again. Let's. Okay. So now you see I get an error device because it's not picking it up. So what you might want to do is you you may need to sometimes it does that. Um, that you may need to unplug it and plug it back in till finally it gets recognized. Um, I had this trouble a little bit earlier. Uh, let's go to security. Let's try turning a enable ADB off and back on again. Okay. So sometimes the plugs are a little bit, um, I've found that sometimes the plugs, okay, there you go. See, so you kind of picked it up again. Okay. So when you hear that sound, that means it's picked it up. So now if we do ADB reboot bootloader, now it's going to work. As you can see, uh, we reboot it again. Okay, we're in fast boot mode. Okay, now when you're fast boot mode, what you want to do is bring up your, uh, uh, there's another file that you download, and you're going to have to unzip it, um, and that's this Kindle Fire HD SRT 1.35 here. So once you're in there, there's a SR, SR tool, and just click on that and just run it, okay? And you're going to be um, at this tool, okay? And so now what you want to do is basically pick option one, restore factory rooted with super user SU. That's going to install uh, version 7.3. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but this is what you want to pick. Once you pick it, it's going to transfer the file. Now, it's very important that you do not disconnect uh, the computer at all uh, from the PC or interrupt this process. If you do interrupt the process during the file transfer, uh, you will brick your device. So this is very important. So do not disconnect it. There is no uh, indication mark um, of the process, and it takes about five minutes. So don't get impatient and think it's not working. Make sure that uh, the process finishes, okay? So go pick option one for that, and then when that finishes, Pick option four to erase cache and user data. And once you're done with that, just reboot it, okay? And once you do that, you'll be up to, uh, you'll be at, you'll have a fresh Kindle Fire uh, stock with 7.3. It'll be rooted with super user SU, okay? Then what, all you have to do is uh, download the Kindle Fire update to the latest version, which I have on the site as well with the link. And, and, and you transfer that to the internal storage. And, uh, and once you transfer into the storage, you can, just go into device and update um, update Kindle Fire, and it'll update. And then once you update it, it'll get rid of super user, and you'll have you'll be at a completely fresh stock, uh, latest uh, Kindle Fire update, as if um, uh, as if uh, you just bought the device. So, um, and that's really it. And so the really important part is just make sure that when you do pick one to copy the system image, uh, that you don't interrupt the process. So that's basically it. Uh, I'm going to just exit and reboot here uh, my device, uh, which rebooted it. Okay, so uh, I hope this video helps. This will help you get back into a fresh stock if maybe you want to sell your device or give it to somebody else, or maybe you just want to go back to a complete stock if, if you've done some modifications. So I hope you like, guys like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit the thumbs up. And uh, and again, this was shot through glass uh, with my new Google Glass, which I'm, which, uh, I'm really enjoying right, uh, right now. So uh, please definitely subscribe to our channel. There's uh, lots more stuff to come.